Hello everyone, I'm Lolly and this is time to start decorating these file folders that we've created. This can be for any season, but this is this particular video is dedicated for this series that I'm doing. Several free downloads coming your way as usual. I have two new downloads for you today. So off camera, kind of, I've got this box that I'm going to be using. So here's what we're going to do. To make this really easy to um, get our ephemera picked out, I'm kind of bending these the other way to help them lie flat a little bit. Okay, I'm laying out all five of mine. Now, I have mentioned several times in this series that you could do six of these if you want to do the whole month. However, do be aware that it might make it hard if you do some of the really thick embellishments on all of these. You might have a hard time getting them to fit in your box. Okay, so that said, what we're going to do is sift through the uh, ephemera and just kind of lay them all out in on these so that we can kind of figure out uh, what we want where. And if it's something that I really want to put on the box, I'm going to put that on the box. I'm just going to dump this in the box right here. So that'll be if I something that I think I want on the box. So wonderful time of the year. I'll put that there. Let's see. Um, this looks kind of cute, but I think that would be lost. That would be really cute there. But I don't want to waste this. This could be used for something else. You won't see it. So I'll just move that and we can use that for something else possibly. I cut that out because I think this needed some background here under ephemera. Night Before Christmas, I think should be um, the one for Christmas Eve. The red, I'm not sure. I'm just going to lay these out. And then if they work, that's great. If they don't, that's great. And then it's not, you know, we're not going to be able to use all of this, obviously. Christmas. Holly jolly. Let's look at some more of the ugly sweater season. I know I want to use that. And we're probably going to change this around, you know, as we go. Santa Claus could also go there. But a lot of this could be for um, Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, you know. Who knows? There's a lot. Let's do Santa Claus over here. Tree, maybe. It's kind of getting lost there. Present. And again, we could do a whole lot on the box. Santa, I know him, should go with Santa, I think. So we're just roughly kind of estimating at this point. And then as we start gluing, and also what we're going to do too at the end is to use, um, we have these that are stickers, but we also have I think this sweater should go with the ugly sweater season. Um, I'm thinking that some of these will go like on the tabs. Now that is another one of the downloads I'm giving you is numbers for your tabs. If you want numbers, I'm giving you circles, squares, and the rectangles. So it's up to you to use them or not. So we will use these as decorations. Some of them will go on here. I still haven't decided whether I want to uh, put numbers on my tabs or not. I've also used die cuts to cut out snowflakes and a hole punch that I have of a snowflake just because I think that'll be great. Like this one here, I think needs uh, snowflakes. Like for instance, maybe even a snowflake right on that tab right there. And I'm just gonna put some snowflakes here. So we're, as a reminder that it needs snowflakes. So, you know, if you have die cuts, toss those in here, uh, fa la la. I think it's really cute. This one needs something backing it up, I think. So you're gonna see that a lot. You think uh, the colors might just get lost in here. Uh, I really like the pastels and I want to take advantage of those. A season of magical memories. Uh, to do joy, very cute. I like bringing that dark blue in. We need something intense there. The stamp. I like the presents. I like the presents here. Presents, there's a tree, presents. I think we're going to go with the magical memories. Let's see if we have anything else that's got a present theme in it here. I think the 25 should go for there. Here's another thing of presents, and it says Christmas morning. Again, wish you Merry Christmas. Hap, happiest season. I don't know. There's so much. I love it. All the snowman would be really good for this one with all the snowflakes. 
Season for believing. I don't know. I might say as we find something we like better, we just trade it out. Dashing through the snow. I think I'm going to switch this out because this with the tree and this with the tree work really well together. But it's too similar. So I need something in the middle to kind of break that up. So possibly, not sure. Let's look again at this. Uh, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I know what I'm going to do. And if you ever get a, something like this, it's a sentiment, it's too long, cut it in half and then put them like this above and below each other. It's another thing to do. I just want to get these sentiments out and see what I have here. Magical memories. Santa could go right in the middle. Comfort and joy. Let's do this. Let's use this comfort and joy, and we're going to back that up on some solid cardstock, probably. We could also do something like this. I would use red. Okay, we'll think about that. I'll put that here. We end up not choosing that automatically. Anything else left over can go on the box or can go into the file folders, which reminds me, I need to tell you, one of the downloads is ideas. It's just a document, so full of ideas of what you can write on your journal spots each day, and also what can go in your file folders for your memory keeping. So lots of downloads for you to play with. And so another thought about these is you don't have to do them every day. You could use like one through five and then not do another one until 16 to 20. Totally up to you. To, for me, I know my memory system. I know how this is going to work. And so I don't think I'm going to get lost as far as what go, which, which is which day, if that makes sense. So I'm going to stack them up like this, put this over here like that. So this one, um, I don't have as many items involved here. So I can always look for something like this here to add to it. So ugly sweater season, I think is pretty cute. I think what I'm going to do as well is look, this kind of gets lost there because it's green. Um, but I thought what I could do would be to even back that up on something solid and maybe even a snowflake under there would be pretty cool, like that. And see how that really brings that out. Okay, now this is where this is really going to come in handy, and this is the glue, precision glue press. And get those little tiny dots in there, and this. If you're thinking about getting the glue press, I have done a review video of it. I think you'll find it interesting. Okay, so you can always use foam tape on any of these designs. Uh, just again, keep in mind that if you are going to add six, day, six file folders in yours, you might want to limit the amount of foam tape you use. I'm going to use this little sticker here, which is really cute. Another sticker. And this feeling, this is a sticker, this is not. So this needs the glue. And you see how quick, quickly that came together. However, we don't have to stop there. So I just want to encourage you, if you have something like glossy accents, you can highlight the letters here. You can highlight accents on the sweater. You can highlight this bow. Uh, you can put your brads there. So these are brad stickers. So that's really fun. We're going to put one of those right there on the feeling festive. And that is done. Is it dry enough to put in my thing? I think it is. Okay, now I'm remembering that I still have that down there, but that's okay. We're going to put that aside and get out the very next one here. You see how quickly this comes together when you've already gone through all of your ephemera and you know how you want this to play out. So we're going to put this snowflake on there. And then I want one of these. Now I could just lay this over there and see what I think that looks like. This frosty blue would be really pretty. The diamond, ooh, this is really brilliant, right there. 
right there. Okay. Now I did say I wanted this to be like that right there. So let's get this down first. I see this little dark blues thing. I'm going to put that on the right so it's not as visible. You can also distress your edges. I'm not distressing edges at all on this project. And you know me, I usually do do a lot of dis edge distressing, but I'm not this time. Now, if you have this um, glue press and you want to use the bottle with the bigger opening on that lid, you might want to try that because you could get a, a lot of more glue coverage. This is so striking and I love those colors. Now this, again, it needs, first of all, you will see a lot of um, mold lines on some of these because they're punched out. So if you just kind of snip those off and I am thinking, see how easy that is to get lost. I want to use this, but I'm realizing it's going to get lost. So I'm going to use that baby blue cardstock that I bought right here. And I'm going to glue that on and trim around it. And I just think that will really help it to stand out a lot better. One trick, if you don't like fussy cutting, use a long blade scissors, get it lined up and do one snip. Just one snip. This is probably, you could also use your paper trimmer. Now, if you don't want the square uh, edges on that, go ahead and use your corner rounder. I'm going to use the small on here. Now you can see how it's not getting lost as much as it was. Now, if we were making a card, we could make this go off the edge, but because this file folder might have a hard time fitting in there, we can go up above, but we don't want it sticking out that way. So, and also because this is the card or chipboard, this isn't going to lie flat. So I need a little piece of foam right under here, but not huge foam. So something like this, Let's see where that goes right up under here. And then we can glue right on this corner right there. That's going to touch that. There we go. And now we have a little bit of foam right into that corner to hold that up. And the same thing here is we're going to need a little bit of foam down in this corner. And I'm just using um, a roll of Scotch foam tape for that. I can really, it's the right thickness. That's what I like about it. There we go. Wonderful time of the year. I love the snow on this. I think because this is so busy that this is the only kind of snowflake that's really going to show up here. So let's use that kind of snowflake. There we go. And we are good and ready to go in our box. And the next one. Now, I had already said, I'm still thinking through this. I just tossed these on here. Thinking through this, um, tis the season. I do like the elements. I'm thinking I need some more cardstock underneath this to kind of, let's bring some pink in here. I love that this has some real vintage turquoisey and pink looks. So I'm going to get a strip that's six inches wide because that's the width of this whole card there. But now what I'm going to do is a, let's see, you know what I'm thinking of. I was thinking about, you know, those edge punches that leave it kind of lacy. But I think in this case, I'm just going ahead and do it at two inches and not worry about that because I kind of like the clean edges with this particular style. This might be a little too, uh, too broad. I don't know. I think it is. I'm going to cut that down. I did that at what, two? I'm going to do that at one and a half. I think that's just what I want. I want a pop of color, but nothing too crazy because I still want to see all the stockings here. So let's try that like that. And let's offset. You could always do something at an angle. And you may find after doing all this that it's just too much stuff and it's not coordinating well. This is when we come in and we try to change it up a little bit. So I think we're having too much going in here. And I think having the blue down here helps to really tie that in. I do want this because it just kind of goes with the Santa thing. Um, but we it's really heavy here with all of this. So that's what I'm trying to counteract right now. So we could... 
Okay, and, and I'm just going to put this here because I may use it again. And these will help to kind of break up some of that pink, I think. Okay, so let's first, I'm going to glue this on there now. And then I'm going to glue this down. There. Okay. This is going to go a little bit onto the snowflake. I'm putting it right there on the very edge of that pink right there. The snowflake is going to be behind everything. And I think I'm running out of room for this. I may have to just totally avoid that or do it this way. I kept trying to put that on top and that's what I didn't like about it. So now that I, oh, here we go. Now I got it, it's coming. So think about any hole punches or die cuts that you have right now in your collection that you can add to your project. And you know, I collect a lot of, you know, Christmassy ephemera and little candy cane pieces and whatnot through, especially when they're on sale at, after Christmas. That is the best time to get Christ Christmas bits is right after Christmas when it's like, 60% off from Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Okay. You know what? This is what's tripping me up. I'm finding that this is not making me too happy. How about another Santa? If I did this, I would need something behind it. Okay. We can do it this way, or you, if you have a circle cutter, if you are blessed with a circle cutter, you can do the circle cutter. I want to show you another thing you can do if you have those old decorative scissors because this one is like a torn paper and what this does is it gives you the ability to do this and hide the fact that you're not very good at cutting a circle out <laughs> so there we go it's all torn it looks fine i think we're going to go with that i think that blue was just kind of tripping me out Okay, this is going to go under that. Also, if you have Christmas ribbons, those would be really, really adorable on this. And this time, we did not use any foam. You know, you don't have to use foam on every single thing you do. So we have this up here. We can decorate it. We can leave it. Um, this is really cute, even though it completely covers up my shape, it's still fine because it's just part of the whole decoration. How about that? We have the word Mary. So, oops. So this is one of the, pro one of the sheets that I completely changed the look of what I had in store to begin with. I just like it better this way. So another thing, again, if you have, uh, glossy accents, if you have, um, nouveau drops or anything like that and you want to accent for instance the ball on his hat the ch the berries in his in his hat you know or the berries here go for it use anything you want to bring out the dimension in these things here one of the things I like using is diamond stickles so I'm just going to kind of fill in this little center on the snowflake there we go and on this one, I'm just going to give it like dots here and there. And the little ball on his, on his hat. So diamond stickles, love them. I'm not going to put this in the box right now because of the fact that the diamond stickles are on there. Let's move on to the next. We're just popping right along here. So I was trying to go with kind of a tree theme here, but also I like this. We need something uh, backing this up for dimension. So let's go back to this again. We're using this pink a lot. I love it. Another way to get a good backing on these is to use these, which are layering guides. Now I still ha I have the full size ones of these in my shop, but I don't have this mini size. I can't get them anymore. You just butt that up against there. This gives you a nice consistent edge. And if you want to round those corners, you can. 
You see how that really makes that pop more? It just, it was kind of getting lost in there and now you can see it better. I think this is going to get popped up because it will add such interest to this. Now, if you want, you could punch a little hole in the top here and put a ribbon on that one. You can punch holes and put ribbon in any one of these that you have. So we're gonna pop this up, turn it around the right way. Just like that. And you know, this could be enough. I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not. Let me have to look at it this way. Yeah, I'm going to do that. More the merrier. It adds more dimension and I like that because we have cardstock, we have chipboard, we have foam tape, all of that. Now let's do something here. We have several snowflakes on the tops of these and that's a good theme to keep going throughout this. So I might wanna consider just doing another snowflake. Some of these are a bit too big, I think, for that, but this is one of the smaller ones I have. Now, some of these are really cute. I like this candle one right there in the middle of that, and there you go. So I'm gonna get the stickles out again and accent the little sparkles on the tree, which means this one also will not be able to go in my file box just yet as it's going to set up for a few hours. Dashing through the snow, it's so cute. And I'm going to accent these. I'm loving the consistency of always using this in here and not switching to different colors. Okay, so now we've got two of these that are going to be setting out to dry. And let's get this one done here. So I threw a lot of things here that were all Christmas related. I do think I want to add this right here. Okay, now let's look at all these. They're so fun. I love the plaid on this, but if I don't like the sentiment, I could put this sentiment in there instead. Merry Christmas, Christmas morning, Merry Christmas. It's a lot of Merry Christmases. I like the blue, it's different. I think this is fine in Christmas morning, night before Christmas and Christmas morning and this. Now the question is, is this too much? You know, I like having that blue in there um, and even this plaid can get lost with the stripes. So one of the things we could do, you guessed it, we're gonna back that up. <laughs> Let's put that on green. Okay, let's see if we like that better than like red. Okay, let's just back that up real quick here. And I, I'm using the whole thing. I'm not punching out the sentiment. So we're going to, oops, glue that up. I'm gonna move that in so that I can use my tool here. Now, I'm using the 1 8 again. You just push that up against the cardstock. The key is to hold it down really well with your non-dominant hand because it just wants to slide around on you. And do we want to round corners again? I don't think so this time. So there we go. And at an angle, a jaunty little angle right there. But see, now this is getting lost, isn't it? So we need some of that red, I think. Let's look at the red or the blue. Let's look at the blue. We could do a double mat as well. I think this time I'm going to do a square. This is approximately two inches. I'm gonna do a two and a quarter inch square. And then what I do with it, I flung it. Okay, now we could also do another layer behind that if we wish, it would make it of course bigger. And we have all of these um, papers here. We could also do, you know what? I think I'm liking that better. So let's do this one instead. Gotta change change tactics here. Let's see, this is, let's make this two and a quarter. Oh yeah, let's see, we had to change, change tactics there. So we could still turn around and mount that on a solid blue or a white. Of course, that's going to get lost. I think we're just gonna go with this and call it good. Now, and I think this 
I have to think through this. Um, Merry Christmas is going to go above that. This is going to go slight angle. You could even go to an angle and then trim off the edge there, which I think I will. I think this is going to go up a little bit. Okay, so this is the corner. Here's what I do if I'm afraid I'm gonna glue that. I'm gonna hold the corner right here that doesn't need to be glued. That helps me to keep it in place and know that that's going to get trimmed off. And now this can go here and that over it. I'm gonna angle this a little bit to the right. I decided I'm gonna put this on foam. Lolly, don't forget the foam. And this could go that way, except we'd have to trim off the edge there. I don't wanna do that. So, tiny piece of foam right under there, I think. Right under here. And there we go. Perfect. Let's get these out. And the nice thing about this is it does it is clear with the glitter, so it won't like obliterate the red there. Now, do we need any more snowflakes? Maybe. Another thing I have is this little star. With this came out of one of the snowflake centers, and it's just this little bonus star here. So in order to make this really pop, though, we are going to give this the diamond stickle treatment and we're getting that whole star oh my goodness it's the christmas star and it is so pretty okay now we're going to use some of these up here we've got santa right there he's perfect right there gorgeous and then i'm going to use this right here on the package right there it's pretty 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 now this is going to have to set. So make sure you look at the links down below. Next time we're going to come together, we're going to decorate this box and we're going to make the other box out of cardboard or chipboard or whatever kind of board you have. Cereal box, cracker box, we're gonna save all that and work on that. So next time is boxes.